Hello, and uh, this is uh, Broyer here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of uh, Civilization VI as Arabia on that deity difficulty. We fended off an attack by the Barbarians, and then an attack by the Japanese, and now we're fending off the Greece, or the Greeks, I should say. Um, thankfully, he is having to come through these jungles, which is slowing down his, his advancement a little bit, although he's also just walking right past this city, which is odd. But I'm okay with that, because most of my defenses are down here with my southern city, my capital. So, um, let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to take, make all my attacks this turn. Man, I could kill that warrior straight up, though. No, I need to weaken this, 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 this swordsman, though. He's too strong against my, uh, my, my warrior, I think. And he could obviously swing around and start attacking my, my archer over here. So I'm going to take out this swordsman. He won't kill him. It'll do some damage enough to weaken him quite a bit. All right, this warrior, hmm. I think I am going to move him out to cut off this other warrior. That would be, I mean, it could mean that this slinger comes back. One, no, he wouldn't be able to attack. This chariot would be able to, though. But that still means that chariot's not going towards the front line, so I think I'm okay with that. All right, that's right. We finished masonry. Nice for walls. If I remember right, we hard researched that one, which is not fun, but it is what it is. Um, getting commerce hub pretty soon would be nice. I mean, we're doing okay on gold right now, but we definitely want that going up soon. I actually should be able to make a trade route soon now that I think about it. So that one actually might not be bad to start working on to uh, get some bonuses going. Irrigation. I get hanging garden, hang gardens and plantation, which I will need the plantation soon enough. Farmer resource. I could probably get the boost there, though. Let's start working on currency. If I get the boost to farmer resource or minor resource, one of these two, I might swap over. Start working on currency though. Uh, I spent at least 10 turns there. I think I can get a trade route up within the next 10 turns. Two more turns and I can buy my worker, so that'll be nice. Or builder, I should say. Ah, uh, Medina. What do I want you to build? Okay, you just built a warrior. You got the archer. You definitely need the housing. Alright, I think the granary is time. Although I do want walls as well to defend against Sparta if he decides to turn around and start attacking this guy instead. Hmm. Choices, choices. Alright, this is a frontline city. Um, let's get the walls. I mean, we're at war. We've got to keep going with the war. I mean, if we lose the war, then we lost the game. So let's just keep doing that. I hate the fact that it keeps putting me behind other growth and other things, but we've got to win the war or else there's no point. Oh, he is backtracking that, that uh, slinger. Interesting. I bet this horse, this chariot is about to come up, isn't he? No, he just sat and healed. Huh. Interesting. Ah, but he is full, it was healed up a bit more. Um, it's just forces, just force and heals. Wow, so that's pretty well defensive. Let's just go ahead and fortify that guy. Uh, it's probably not the smartest move, but it does mean he's going to come up and start taking a couple hits. He may actually kill him, but hopefully that means he's taking a lot of damage in the process. Uh, I really would like to get this archer full healed, but... I don't want the slinger taking free shots against my warrior, so let's let's work on the slinger. Ah, nice, killed him. That's good. All right, so the war, the swordsman healed up a bit. 
Okay. This warrior came down. Alright, let's just take some more shots on those swordsmen. Let's get him weak again. this swordsman down here, this warrior down here weak enough for me to attack? No, not really. <laughs> it's just too much of a, of a difference. Uh, this this warrior is just better against the spearman at the moment. If I get the spearman against this heavy chariot, I'm assuming that's a mounted unit. Yep, plus 10 against cavalry. Yeah, I think if I could get him against that, that'd be great, but against this warrior or against the swordsman, it's just not worth it. That's alright. He can stay there healing. Maybe the guy will attack him. That, that's still fine. Take a little bit of damage against him. If he attacks him once or anything like that, I can knock out this warrior pretty quickly. Swordsman's low enough. He shouldn't be much threat. It's really this chariot that I'm worried about. Yeah, it's really this chariot that I'm most worried about at the moment. And he is running away. He's running away with everybody. Wow. Swordsman staying in place to try and heal. This guy stayed in place to heal a little bit. Huh. Alright, let's see what we can do against the swordsman now that he's close. Decisive victory. Man, it takes him half health, though. Oh, I don't know if I like that. The warrior would not be able to attack, but the chariot definitely would. But I really don't want this swordsman getting away and healing. So, and if, I, if it is a sacrifice, it's a sacrifice of a cheaper unit for a more expensive unit. So, let's just go with that. And I will be moving my spearman up, because if this guy does come and attack, maybe I can get into position to attack back. So that should be fine. And what I will do is throw a shot at this heavy chair to weaken him a little bit. Hopefully that deters him from going after the warrior. Although, honestly, I'm not sure if I would mind if he went after the warrior and I can move my spearman up. That would actually be nice. Alrighty, next turn. And he is. He's going after him, but he's not attacking him. Oh. Oh, <laughs> moving on that hill saved him, I think. Well, not saved him, saved him. I don't think I would have been able to kill him. Had he stayed on the flat plains, though, I would have moved the warrior out of the way and just moved the spearman up to attack him. That I cannot do at the moment. But what I can do is move the spearman up next to him. This guy, I will fortify until healed. Um, oh, that's right. I got an extra archer this turn. Very nice. The archer that does not have a promotion, I'm actually going to move up. Let's see. I think I get a free movement across the river since he's coming out of the city. I can't remember. Yes. Move up. Take a shot against the uh, chariot. Um... Man, the guy in the city. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to be able to pull all three of these. I'd like to get the promotions going, but they should all be able to move and shoot at this turn. Oh, <laughs> nice. Took him out. That is huge. All right, so this, this guy, let's just fortify for a moment. Ah, uh, I got this warrior up here, trying to do something. Can't shoot him because of the jungle. I can move up. Not really going to help me that much. Uh, in that case, let's just, oh, I can take the promotion. It's not going to be a full heal promotion, but the promotion's still going to be good. Combat strength when occupying a district or fort. So if I'm going to keep this guy in the city, which actually probably would be a good idea. So let's do that. This will just be my fortification uniform, Medina. Choose production. All right. I actually feel like we have this battle, this, this war, pretty much in hand right now. 
He's got two warriors. Yeah, who knows what else he has, but he's still got to get through this jungle. So if we slow down, I'll be able to see it coming. I think I'm okay with that. The one negative about this is, unlike Japan, where I could easily come over here and take out this city, you know, if I got them enough of an advantage, which I feel like I kind of do now, I'm going to have the same problem against Greece as I did, as he does against me, having to go through this jungle uh, to attack his city. So I'm probably just going to piece him out as soon as he allows me, uh, not taking that first that extra city, which I hate doing, but it just seems like the best choice. So in that case, I think it is time to start swapping over to uh, more defensive stuff. In fact, let's go ahead and if I do the trader now, six turns, put me at halfway on currency, then I can immediately make a trade route and that will get me the rest of the way. That would be good. So let's work on the trader, but also I just noticed, I think it was actually last, last turn that I could do this. Let's purchase too many oh okay nope that's fine um okay mr prophet just come over here behind the archer for a second and then you go ahead and build me a builder nice it's a bold move mr warrior I think you're about to die. Alright, so this warrior is probably going to get away. That's fine. Archer is fully healed because of the promotion, so let's just let alert, alert him. Um, This archer, let's see which archer. Um, this one does not have a promotion yet, so let's go ahead and attack with him first, just because I may, may promote this guy here in a second. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm doing. Go ahead and promote both these guys. Uh, it's one of these I want to keep in the city. This guy already has volley, so he is going to continue on down and take Arrow Storm. That makes the most sense. This guy is probably going to be the guy leaving the city. It's not fully promoted yet. Not a big deal. Uh, I'd like to get a couple of these archers offensive rate, uh, oriented. So let's take volley on him as well. And we're actually going to move the spearman across. No, it's not a great attack, but there's nothing else threatening him. And it'll get a kill on him, get some more XP on him, and that's fine. And he'll be able to heal up before anything's in trouble. All right, Builder, what do I want you to do first? Farm. If I build the farm, yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Gives me a little bit of housing, which would be nice, and gets me the boost to irrigation. Very nice. I do need to get a holy site pretty quickly to get my religion going, but that will be my my next goal after the trade route, I think. Great library is going to be completed. More amenities. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, that is one thing I do need to do with this builder, with one of his builds, is move him up and uh, improve one of the Cocos after I get irrigation. Peace. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, he wants to give me two gold per turn, ten gold flat out, three amenities, all because he declared war on me. Man, these early wars by these AI are just hilarious sometimes. I mean, they're, they're not easy. Don't get me wrong. It, it set me back a lot. Not just the barbarians, but the two wars against the Jap the Japanese and the Greek. But, um, and so what it set me back is probably more costly than what they're giving me right now. But the fact that he's giving me three amenities is pretty huge. So, yes, I'm going to accept that deal. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Uh, Pericles. All right, now I get to uh, try and take this small, brief period of peace and turn it around and actually start doing something with my 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 uh, civilization. Plus, kind of prepare for the next war because I have a feeling as soon as peace comes about with me in Japan, he's going to probably be coming right back at me. He's not very happy with me right now, so I'm not surprised. He don't need orders. All right, builder. Do I want to just get the other? 
the other farm probably. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's just get back into build mode. Let's get this other farm. In fact, if I get a farm here and a farm to the east, then I'll get that little trio of farms, which would be nice. Get some bonuses at some point. All right. Wow, somebody cleared out this encampment. Are there any encampments on the map nearby that I can go after? Don't see any. So no. So now my units can kind of be a bit more <laughs> defensive minded at this point, I believe. Let's move you back to the hill here. Let's move you over to the hill there. You're going to go. Um, that's fine. I was trying to click the archer, but you're going to go back to the city. This guy. Huh, you know what? That's actually probably okay. I'm okay with where he's at there. This warrior, I do think I want to move up kind of start blocking up this area with a couple warriors or do I yeah I think that's actually the best bet I was gonna say let's keep this guy down here because the, the cavalry on the flat land is gonna be much more painful so let's move this guy up to that hill um, You know what, let's move you up to this hill for now, just to see if it... I don't think it'll give me much more spotting range, but it's fine. It'll be safe for now. All right, this archer can go into alert mode. Nice. This guy... There's really no other defensive terrain around here. Let's just fortify you now for as a kind of a spotting unit anyway, or a front unit, and then we'll probably move you back if war actually gets declared. Tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. Okay. That's just a insult, right? Okay, I was gonna say that's not war, is it? I mean it'd be fine if it was. I don't know where she is. I'm guessing this is her over here to the Go east. Over the past it's kinda hard to see the color. Changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. Early Empire. Nice. We can start building uh, settlers better. Reduce the cost of purchasing tiles. That's pretty good. In fact, I could change over to do builders now, which I, I really do need to get builders going. But I also really, really need to get another city up very soon. Um, Fifteen turns on state workforce. It's quite a ways away. Within the fifteen next fifteen turns, will I be building any settlers? See, after this main city gets the um, trade route here in about two, two or three turns, it's going to move over to the uh, the uh, holy district, which I think is like ten or twelve turns. So that puts me at fifteen turns right now. So no, I will not be swapping over to settlers within the next fifteen turns. It looks like. Trade route gold, nice, but not necessary at the moment. Builder production, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be making another builder right away. Um, more production for units. I'm okay with keeping it on that for now. I mean, there's not really much else, but that's fine for now. I mean, I could go back to Barbarians or one of the other ones, but I think that's fine. Alright, you can alert. You can build the farm. Let's make sure Cairo is in fact working those farms. Four food, four food, nice. Um, I'm okay with this. I got an extra housing by building that. 13 turns on that. Let's see if I move this guy over here. Drops me down to by two turns and does not slow down my trade. Oh, I made that wrong thing. Um, no, it does not slow my trader. So let's do that. Let's lock that in. Let's lock that in. This I am okay with. Uh, is there a way to tab to the other? Yes, there is. Nice. Uh, three, one, two, two, three, two, two, three. Yeah, that's, that makes the most sense. Perfect.
Okay, yeah. I'm good. Thank you for making them happy yourself, actually, because you're the one that gave me all the minities to make them happy. <laughs> but I appreciate the kudos. Alright, you are going to alert as well. You. So I've already got... What was it? Was, the, was it the cocoa that I also got? I forget what all he gave me. Uh, let's see. Does it tell me here? No. Where would it tell me? Resources. He gave me, yep, he gave me cocoa. So I do not need to rush up there and... I mean, improving the cocoa obviously would give me boosted production and stuff. But I'm already getting a lot off these. I actually think it would be better to stick around here and improve one of these. Um... Let's see, science, minor resource, does that count as the quarry? I can't remember, is the quarry just up there with masonry? Already got farmer resource, I do think I'm going to go ahead and build the stone thing though, or, man, I don't know if it counts as a mine. What is it going to say? Improvement quarry. I don't think it does. That would be mining nothing, so it would not count as well. I could build the other farm to get my trio all up a road pretty pretty quickly. Although I don't think I am working that resource at the moment. Nope. And it's already got two food down here. Let's just let's go do the quarry. I think that's a better bet. Fortify you. Actually, I want to alert you. Hello, Mr. Scout. Where are you coming from? It has to be down here, southeast of, of Hattusa. Well, actually, I'm on this on that wonderful note of trying to figure out where the scout's coming from. I'm going to put a cut in here. I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, hope you come back next time. Uh, thank you.